are you guys ready for the first voice actor panel of BabsCon 2014? I am going to hand you over to one of the best announcers to have ever graced the fandom, Dusty Cat! Woo! Okay, everybody knows from my other, I'm old and I need glasses, and I'm gonna read this for you. I'm gonna bring out your favorite actors right about now. First and foremost, <sighs> introducing, from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. She is the master of trouble and trouble. The ultimate party pony. She can kill you with kindness. Prepare your hearts and your ears for Andrea Lambert. Next, our beloved daughter of Vancouver, British Columbia. When she's not talking to the animals in this little pet shop, she's killing us softly with her songs, killing us softly with her songs. No matter who wins the Iron Pony competition, it's still gonna be her, Ashley Ball. Again, all the way from Vancouver, British Columbia. You see a theme going here. <laughs> Woo! She's the mayor of mayhem! <laughs> the assistant of agony! And uh, the buttercream bandit, the one tough little dragon, Kathy Wesley! From parts unknown, Vancouver, British Columbia. <laughs> she is the Alicorn Princess. <laughs> Basically, she rules, need we say more? <sighs> and don't ever call her son butt again. <laughs> Nicole! I see you, and we will talk later. Also. Oh, also. <sighs> also from Vancouver, British Columbia. When people ask if he's a wizard, he tells them yes. He is the mighty mongoose of LPS. And the stoic pony we love the best. Don't stand between him and his schmoopy doo, Peter Noon! Where is he? Peter! He's here, he's, he's late. Um, he's, I think he's in the bathroom. Yeah, I think he's in the bathroom. He's in the bathroom? Yes. Oh my god, I don't uh, know where he is. Oh my god, Peter, Peter, Peter. Thank you, thank you. Peter, Peter. Peter. Does anybody out there know okay. Peter? Maybe you can come and sit, sit in this here. place for a while? Peter. <laughs> we don't know where Peter is. 
There's a joke there, but it's a mixed audience. Let's remember that. <laughs> <sighs> also from Vancouver, he is the Time Pony Immortal. He, let's see, I have to read this from you. Mm. Am I the right one? Yes. He will get you cake. He will get you daring do. He's not going to get this daring do. Brian Drummond! Over 9,000 chairs in here and not one for Vegeta. She is the sweet product of her father, Brian. She's also from Vancouver. Right here. No, 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 no chairs. Yeah, more chairs. Need some more chairs. Chair here. She is the beast from the east. She is the Manhattan manager of the CMC. She is Brina Drummond. There, almost there. Coming to us, the mean streets of LA. The mean streets of LA. But originally, yeah. oh, right, no, hey, am yeah. I on? No, From true. Toronto, Canada. Oh, it's on me. Ain't no other me. pony, troll it down. Like Terrace Roy. we were done and you thought we were done we ain't done we ain't done yet no via Skype from would you believe Vancouver British Columbia if she doesn't get you with her fabulosity she will get you with her whining she will generously kick your butt Tabitha St. Germain Skype call up here now. Come on, come on, Skype call, Skype call, Skype call, come on. Where is it? Boop. Tabitha. Boop. Tabitha. Boop. Where are Boop. you? Boop. 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 Is that what it says? <laughs> Tabitha. One moment, please. Calling for you. Tabitha. She, she said she'd call us right back. Is she going to call us right back? Oh, she's calling <laughs> no. us right back. No, uh, we're having just a little issue, but we'll take care of it. Awesome. Okay, with that, I hand it over to you. <laughs> the one, the only, the brawniest brony, Dusty Cat. But wait, there is one more. The princess. Big man. Big man. When we promise you princesses, we deliver.
Twilight approves. Does Celestia approve? Where on earth? Uh, 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 Celestia is <laughs> speechless, really. And I just want my schmoopy do back. You could have at least shaved. <laughs> All right, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hear anything. We have an amazing, obviously an amazing panel of voice actors for you to talk to today. <laughs> we have to take pictures. Sorry, this is good. All right. What is happening? Uh, and just I, I as you know. I have a picture know, of myself. I'm going to Instagram it now. <laughs> Just so as you know, uh, I, I think everyone should, should hear this because this is actually very important. There are some delightful pieces of paper here on the table. They say, BabsCon voice actor Q&A bingo. Oh. Oh. If you ask one of the obvious uninteresting questions that they have heard a million times before, a square will be filled. And whoever gets bingo first, well, uh, what, they, what do we get? What do we get? They get bingo first, actually. That's about what oh. they get. <laughs> but the person who asked the question gets chased out of here. <laughs> yes, they get a date with Princess Big Mac. Thanks, M.A. Larson. <laughs> That's right. It's all M.A. Larson's fault, as usual. <laughs> Guys handing out wings like they were candy. Okay, so. Thank you. <laughs> what I'd like to do first is uh, I'd actually I like shaved. each of our <laughs> I'd actually like each of our voice actors to just kind of give themselves a brief little introduction that isn't in pro wrestling style. Uh, starting, starting from my left. Hi, my name's Peter New, and I play Goldie Delicious. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Isn't there someone else that you play? Oh, Big Macintosh. <laughs> do, do you really play Big Macintosh? I do. Thank Wait, you. do you really play Big Macintosh? No, I don't, I don't want to answer. When I'm playing My Little Pony Monopoly, I do play Big Macintosh. Isn't there a usual response to that question? Yup. Yes. Uh, oddly, I don't, I don't think that's on my bingo card, though. <laughs> okay. Can you guys hear me? No. Here, here. Can we have more level, please, on the mics? Some of ours are lower than others, I think. And I believe it needs to be heard. Can you please turn up a microphone? <laughs> Thank you. Brian's just going to do some mime for us instead. Brian and Brenna. Ready? There we go. Hi. There we go. Here I am. My name's Andrea. And I play Pinkie Pie. Fluttershy. Yay. Check, check, one, two. Hi. <laughs> how, how is every pony? It's a pleasure to be here. I'm Ashley Ball. All right, I play Applejack, as you y'all know. And, and I play the awesome Rainbow Dash. I'm Kathy Westlock, and I play Spike. Ooh. Hey, every pony, what's up, man? <laughs> Thank you. And Mayor Mayor, and quite recently, Coco Pamel. Um, hi, my name is John Delancey, and I play Discord. <laughs> So my name is Nicole Oliver, and I play Cheerily. Hi, uh, later. 
Yeah. And I'm also Princess Celestia, and I dare you to call me Sunbutt one more time. Actually, for those of you who don't know, that started on Twitter as a joke about hockey games, and I'm from Vancouver, and our team is the Canucks, and they're, it's so no, tragic. It's, it's tragic. <laughs> so, but anyway, what we have done is Ben and another artist, and we have a t-shirt with, with Princess Celestia. They'll be in the charity auction tomorrow, and we're hoping to raise a lot of money with it for Bronies for Good. So something that started out quite silly is going to end up being quite fantastic in the end. So thank you. actually know her? Enough said. Wait, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, people. It's like, this is awkward. Too many MCs, not enough mice. I'm Brenna, and I play Bad Seed from Manhattan. By the way, folks, this is her con. Her con. Oh, yes. Babs con. Well, my name is Brian Drummond, and I play many male ponies on the show. It's a man. Mr. Cake and that dastardly Owie Zotel and Time Turner or Dr. Hooves, as some of me say, he said a line or two. Although most of you probably know me as... Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z. Or Zex McKees. Or Ryuk from Death Note. I don't know, many of those crazy shows. Very fun stuff. Awesome to be here, guys. That was nice. It's a pony con, okay? Wrap it up. Oh, come on now. I'm just kidding. Brian, weren't you that... Mm. No, no, you weren't. <laughs> no, I'm not. Anyway. Yeah. Yes. yeah, Brian. Yes. <laughs> what was the what was what was the name? Sea Breeze. Sea Breeze. Didn't didn't Sea Breeze have a, an accent of some sort? Oh yes, some kind of an accent. Yes. <laughs> He's my favorite. All right. Is everybody feeling warmed up? And by the way, we had a re we had a request from a certain princess, Celestia, not not not, not Princess Big Mac, <laughs> that any children in the audience who aren't already sitting up front, if you're a child, you're in the audience, come up front. Everyone comes. <laughs> Everyone's a child Yay! inside. <laughs> Yay! Look at that. Yeah. I'm sorry I missed you all. I thought I grabbed you all. Come on in. Come on in. Sit down. Grab a, grab a piece of carpet. Lest, lest anyone forget who the actual target demographic of the show is. <laughs> Yay! Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, you guys look great. Hi. Hi. We love your ears. All of your ears and all the colors. And your tails, too. And your hat. <laughs> That's for you. Okay, one thing we're also going to start doing is uh, we're going to start getting people lined up. 
because I know a lot of you have questions for these amazing people. Uh, do we have mics ready for folks to start getting lined up? We're not going to start taking questions just yet, but I want you to start thinking about your questions. And remember, bingo. <laughs> and don't run over the small people on the way to the microphones, please. Thank you. Don't be that guy. Don't be that girl, okay? Seriously. Sorry. Hey, um, just just because we're playing bingo and it's a lot of fun doesn't mean that we're not more than happy to answer a question that we may have heard before. So feel free to ask whatever question you want. That's what we're here for is to answer your questions. So don't yeah. feel bad. It's just a little fun side game. She just yep. wants to win. <laughs> So all right, uh, let's, let's open up the proceedings a little bit here, especially since we have so many folks. Now, uh, a number of you all do, uh, also do anime voices, as I understand. Anime. We, uh, uh, Brian's already talked about some of his. So uh, amongst the rest of you, who are some of the anime voices that we might recognize that you've all, uh, you've all voiced? Uh, a few of mine have a, something called an NDA. Say with me, children, non-disclosure agreement. If your parents are lawyers, you'll understand, so I can't tell you. Um, I've done uh, Aki the Metal Idol, I've done Yuasha, some Death Note, Esmeraldas, 9000. You know, I'm happy to be here, that's it, that's all I got. <laughs> Um, if anyone knows Cyber Six from a long time ago, I'm allowed to announce that the DVD box set will finally be released in August um, with some uncut stuff. And uh, I also play the character of uh, Near in Death Note. Um, Shampoo and Ronma one half. Um, Dorothy Catalonia and Gundam Wing. Young Trunks and Dragon Ball Z. And a bunch of other little ones. Black Lagoon, Garcia and Black Lagoon, yes. I don't remember. <laughs> no, I think I was uh, some, something in Inuasha, Inuisha, Inuasha. It was a long time ago. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I was Chi Chi in Dragon Ball, and uh, Malena Vashti in Gundam Double O. I was Ian Vashti in Gundam Double O. How did we You're my dad? Yeah. <laughs> I have an announcement about my lifestyle. That's good. Yeah. Babs gone, bringing families back together. <laughs> But no, I, I, I asked that question because I wanted to uh, show you all that as much as we love them as our favorite ponies, they've done so much more and they've been a big part of all of our childhood. Uh, there's one woman here who uh, I, I think she voices a, a Teen Titan. Um, a little, little, little kid with some fairies. Oh, uh, gosh. Um, and oh yeah, yeah, this 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 little little flying girl with a high squeaky voice. Um. I'm just as tough as boys and buttercup. I'm hardcore. So as much as they're the voices that we love now, they're the voices we've loved since our childhoods, or in some of our cases, our young adulthoods. Now, let's get to some questions because I know you all have them. <laughs> if you want a question asked, you gotta line up at the mic. Orderly, no running, no running, no squishing of the smart people. No running, orderly, orderly. That's right, kids get to go to the front of the line. Yes. Just say it. No problem. Just say it. 
single file. Oh, yeah. Jam, yeah, I'm ready. Test, 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 test. Mic on. Yep. Bingo. A little mic tip. You do not need to actually put your mouth on the mic, but talk down into the mic and talk loudly, please. Yes, putting the mic in your mouth is how people get concrud, so we don't want to spread concrud. annoying when people do that, but shh, please, please. Thank you. Hello, my name is Alice. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you, Hi, Alice. You're so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> I love my little pony. Oh, I like Rainbow Ash. It's my favorite. Oh. That's because she's awesome, and so are you. And she's cool. Is that Rainbow Dash? Rainbow Dash her face. Okay, calm down. Oh, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> awesome. What did she say? Rainbow Dash. That's crazy. You have a yeah. very pretty yeah. outfit. Thank you. You're Thank you. <laughs> are you done? Yeah. Okay. Say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alice, Rainbow Dash loves you. You're the cutest little pony I've ever seen. Uh, hello. Uh, my name is uh, Tyler Sayers. Uh, <laughs> uh, hi, hi, um, hi. I'm to be a generic question. But what uh, is your name? Sorry. Uh, Tyler Sayers. Tyler. Hi, Tyler. <laughs> um, get your card ready because I'm going to ask a really generic question. Uh, when and why did you start voice acting? <laughs> <laughs> Really on there. That's a very good question, Tyler. It's not really on our bingo sheet. Yeah. So that's good. I think it would differ for when? every when? one of us. Well, she said when. Okay. 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 Who, who, to whom is that addressed, my love? Uh, all of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a very, very long day. Should we start? Should we start with the prettiest pony on the panel and go to Peter? Uh, uh okay. I, okay. I'm not sure I have started voice acting yet. I'm really, I'm still working on it. No, I started, uh, I guess, in, I don't know, maybe 15 years ago, I guess. I did, I did some film and TV when I was a kid, and then I could talk really fast and read stuff, and then they let me do cartoons. Yay. <laughs> I think the first cartoon I did was about seven years ago. So I'm like relatively new to the game, but uh, yeah, it was, I mean, not anymore, I know I'm an old fart. But yeah, I, I think it was about seven years ago. And it was a, a series called Slim Pig. But, no one knows. But totally awesome, Rainbow Dash. I started in 19, 1988. I'm not kidding you. I can barely stand up. And uh, in a show called Kissy Fur, and I played a goose. Goose. And the goose talked like this, and I had to match the voice, and thought I was going to die because it was my first job, and I thought, oh, I'll never make it. So, and various other shows. 
Um, I do a lot of on-camera acting, and uh, someone said to me, you have an interesting voice, you should try, and I did. 1993! Ah, <laughs> oh, you're just a youngster. I know, it was the year, and I started on a show called Silver Surfer, and, and X-Men. That, those were my first cartoons. So I started when I was 13, so about seven years ago, too. Um, and my first job was Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty's Furry Town Theater is proud to present The Wizard of Paws. That was my first. Uh, I started acting about... About your age, yeah. <laughs> I have to check in with my dad. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Still, still pretty new. Still pretty new, I would say. Yeah, it's been a while for me. It's a long time ago, like these old people up here. <laughs> I think I was back in 1993 or something like that. I was actually a G.I. Joe series that I did, the first one. And I played a character called Eagle Eye or Ballistic, and then I did uh, Vegeta on Dragon Ball Z, the very first anime I did. Uh, thank you. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks, Tyler. Hi, I'm Frida. I'm sorry, I'm kind of freaking out. <laughs> uh, if you guys had a cutie mark, what would it be? Cutie mark. Oh. Mine would be a, a hat, wow. I think. <laughs> I probably would have a hat. Good question. What would yours be, Andrea? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it would probably just be like all microphones for everybody. <laughs> no, no. no. Um, for the over 18 audience, my cutie mark would be a martini with three olives. And <laughs> if it's a PG group, my cutie mark would be uh, a heart. <laughs> I already have a cutie mark. The amazing fans on all the artists. You guys are so amazing and artistic. They made the Terralicious Pony with a mic and a heart. It was really cute. Aww. Aww. Anything resembling chocolate. <laughs> and probably Spikes, if he had one, he'd probably choose a fire ruby. Oh. I think mine might be like a wave or something. Yeah. You know? A big boo wave. A C wave, do you mean? Or one on an audio monitor? Yeah, a sound wave. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name's Rebecca, and I'm wondering, are we ever gonna see our weird Al cheese sandwich again? Or our dirty diamond dogs? Or the great and powerful Trixie? I we, sure hope so. We don't know. <laughs> you should ask the writers. <laughs> ask Mitch Larson and Megan McCarthy. They'll, they're outside. We're actually, there? Mitch is in the audience. Hi, Hi Mitch. Mitch. Thanks Wait, for my everybody. wings, buddy. Wait, Mitch. Not that they'll necessarily give you an answer. Hey, uh, Mitch. We hope so, though. And, and, Mitch, and Jason Thiessen's here, too. They can answer that question. They love to answer those questions. Jump up and down, so, Jason. Jump up and down. Look for them afterwards, and they'll gladly answer. And then let me know what they say. <laughs> Just jumping off of that question, my name is Josh Haber. I was just wondering. Hi, Josh. Hi, Josh who, Haber. Who is How old your are you, favorite? Josh? How what? old are you? Uh, I'm not at liberty to say. Okay. I'm just wondering who is your favorite writer and why? That, that's for the whole panel. M mine is Samuel Beckett. Because he's not uh, you. <laughs> That's exactly my reason. <laughs> I love this guy named Josh Haber because he's really handsome and so smart. And he just writes the best lines 
for my character, Princess Celestia, or Cheerilee? Do you need a pen? No, no, no. no. Just a, a follow-up question. How do you manage to motivate dialogue written by someone else? Like Mitch Larson? <laughs> yeah, like someone like that. Or Josh. No, Josh is... Um, uh, oh, it's a mixed audience. Martini. I drink a lot. I drink before sessions. Interesting. I get it. Thank, thanks for your input, guys. Really. Thank you. Everyone, that is Josh Haber, who writes for My Little Pony, in case you don't know. <laughs> Among other things. Okay, uh, hello? Okay. Hi. Who is your favorite pony besides yourself? What? Say it again, sorry. Who, who is your favorite pony besides yourself? <laughs> All of them. Mine's Applejack, because she's my sister. I, I like Twilight Sparkle, because she's pretty, and she's touching me now. <laughs> Mine's Twilight, because I get to ride on her back now, and we get to see awesome stuff. That's not your favorite. Up. That's not your favorite. You know what? It, it is actually. No, it's not. It's Fluttershy, <laughs> really. But you know what? It's changing to Pinkie Pie lately. That's what I thought. It's that, I'm <laughs> serious. It's that Pinkie sense. That's what I thought. It's, it's the Pinkie sense yeah. is, is getting to me. Wow. I'm loving that. <laughs> yeah. I should probably say someone on the panel, but I really like Zakora. Yeah. Yeah, she talks in rhyme. I really like Brenda. She's badass. I always have a place in my heart for Miss Derpy. And Gra I like Granny Smith, because she's hysterical. Any faves? I like them all equally. Oh. <laughs> Snowflake! If you had your own pony, what would you name it and what would it look like? Aww. It's not on here either. It's not on here either. How are we supposed to If do I had a pony, I would think the pony would be black and I would call the pony Shadow. <laughs> I would name my pony Josh Haber. <laughs> <laughs> But I would name my pony Josh Haber as well, but it, it would be like the most, his hair would be falling out, and, the, and it would be. <laughs> you ride a song if you want to ride. Oh, good. Ride the white horse, right? No? Yeah, sure. It's a mixed audience. Yeah. Um, if I had a horse, it would be dappled gray, and it would be called Shimmer Delight. It's gonna be drawn. It's gonna be drawn. <laughs> my little Joshy, my little Joshy. Ah, my little Joshy. He writes some scripts and they are pretty good. My little Joshy. <laughs> we like to say the words in this. I'd, I'd, uh, I'd name my pony um, Princess Big Mac. <laughs> And, and I'd feed her apples every day. I like apples. I know. Shh, don't talk so much. <laughs> <coughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh. So sweet. Hi. I'm Hi. Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Okay, I have a question on alicorns. Ooh. Will the main six become alicorns because uh, Twilight might uh, live them? And can alicorns live forever and like not die but can be killed? Or do, can, do they live for a very long time and then die? Mitch. Megan, Mitch, comments? Comments? Yes. 
Yes. No, they can. Yes, no. He nodded and she they, shook her head. They That's, can live forever, so. according to Mitch. She's back there. Wave, Mitch, so she knows who to go look for to get more detailed. Right there. That's who you go talk to. Okay. We don't know. Um, we don't know. <laughs> That's hard to say. Yeah, we don't know. But we'll yeah, we find don't really, out. We don't Possibly. really know. I think they live forever. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to be optimistic. Cartoons live forever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good question. <laughs> you had too many Hi. Um, my name is Amy Keating Rogers. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hi, Amy. Hi, Amy. I like your hair. And, it's, hi. Um, and this question's for uh, Mr. Actor Peter New. <laughs> yes. Hi. Hi. I was just wondering, um, who wrote your favorite lines? <laughs> and, what? And, uh, I'm really fond of season, my lines. Shh. Mm. <laughs> it's season four. It's okay. So just, just calm yourself down and is, just speak is the a little question, more clearly. Go. Is the question it's, who wrote my favorite lines in season four? Yeah. In season four? Yeah. It was, it was Amy Keating Rogers. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Who's an awesome I don't writer. know if you've heard of her. I she think has it was sexy for everyone in that room. <laughs> she's a very similar name to you. Hi, guys. Uh, oh, okay. Can you hear me? What? Tabitha? What? 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 Tabitha? Uh -huh. Tabitha just came on. Hey, real, real quick, Tabitha. Everybody, that was Amy Keating Rogers. Big hand for this fabulous writer, please. Thank you. Hi, Tabitha. Hi, Tab. <laughs> I can't see you guys. I got no picture. It's but bad because we're really good me, looking. Which is awesome. <laughs> but can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. That's good enough. Apparently, apparently we can get you across time, but Skype is problematic. <laughs> you look pretty. Oh, um, I like thank your you. couch. I like your couch. Is there going to be a... <laughs> Not covered in cats at the moment. How's the pal going? <laughs> Yeah. Hey, uh, Tabitha, do you mind if I give you your, your intro that you didn't get to have uh, before, uh, earlier, because we missed it? Oh, I just heard murmur, <laughs> Do you mind if I give you your intro? Do it! Do it! Okay, sorry, Dusty, I have to do this one. Via Skype from, would you believe, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada! If she doesn't get you with her fabulosity or her martial arts prowess, she'll get you with her whining. She will generously kick your butt, Tabitha St. And, and now you have to answer every question everyone's already asked that you didn't hear. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, now you don't want to hear me anymore. I'll get, let you get back to the actors. Hi. Is there going to be a season six? If so, um, are you guys looking forward to it? If I hope so. If there were, we would don't for know. sure. You can't say. <laughs> and uh, Tabitha, I'm just as you. Tabitha, the person answering the question is dressed as you. Awesome. I hope you're doing it better than I am. <laughs> Thank you. We, we, will, we will love to work with each other again on a, another season. So fingers crossed. Hi, I'm Isaac. And if, you, and if you were willing to write an episode, how hard do you think it would be? Good one. Are there any writers left in the room? Are they still here? I mean, how hard 
could it be? No, we could do gone. that. We could do it. It's really easy to write. <laughs> that can't have been one of the writers. I think it would be easy maybe to write our, some things for our own characters, but maybe we might have to write our own character, I think. That would be easier than writing others. Yes. Yeah. I think. Yes. Yeah. That'd be a fun challenge. Maybe you want to write us an episode. Yeah. Oh. No. It would, it, would, it would destroy this whole fandom. <laughs> Love that you know your limitations, but don't limit yourself. <laughs> hello, my name's. Uh, hello, my name's um, Scotty, also known as Shadowmaker. Um, will ev- um, Will Luna ever come to a convention? She's here right now. She's right there. She's on oh, screen. Oh, Tabitha Voiceless. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Hey, Tabitha, I think your agent needs to do more work. (laughs) Hi, my name is Avery. I was wondering, if you woke up in Equestria as your own pony, what is the first thing you would do? If we grew up in Equestria? If you you woke up in Equestria as your own pony, what is the first thing you would do? I would buck apples. (laughs) (laughs) Chocolate ring! I would fly all day and just kick clouds around. It'd be awesome! Um, I would wake up, I would eat a gemstone, and I'd go back to bed. I would buy more stationery so the ponies could write me more letters. We don't do it that way, Princess Celestia. I would not write Dear Princess Celestia letter because I would be busy flying. It'd be amazing. And I probably wouldn't spend that much time reading, even though I should, because I could be flying. That'd be amazing. Yeah, I'd do that. I can answer. I'm so Twilightlicious. I would probably have to swish the hair out of my face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, it would be the best. As Mr. K, can I wake up in a bakery? It'd be cinnamon bun time or something, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, it would be good. Question, yeah. Me? Oh, you. Top I, I would poke holes in bubble wrap with my unicorn horn. <laughs> <laughs> Starting the meme in three, two, one. Hi, I'm Lauren. Um, what ki- kinds of things should we be looking forward to to Rainbow Rocks? You know, the new movie. What? Could you say that again, Lauren? What kinds of things should we be looking forward to to Rainbow Rocks? So that's long lines of what happens in a future episode, right? Okay. It's a movie. Yeah. 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 Come on, Nicole. <laughs> um, you can look forward to some more great music. Yeah. yeah. This also might be the time when Tabitha sees a moose. (laughs) Oh, look, a moose. Um, Yeah, there's going to be lots of lots of singing, lots of great songs by Daniel Ingram and crew. And uh, yeah, us in our people forms, which is always really weird to see. Thank you. Thanks. Um, I have a question for Tara. Um, when I was watching Feeling Pinky Keen, I couldn't, I, all I had to, I wanted to ask Twilight, if God doesn't exist, then why is it a horse? <laughs> uh, you trolling me? What was that? I don't know. Did I just get trolled by a child? <laughs> You're lucky you're cute, kids. Sit down. (laughs) Hi, my name is Tanner. Hi. My name is Tanner, and is is there anything that you guys can say about season five of MLP? 
That it's it's happening. Yay! We look forward to it. Well, yay! But there's a whole lot of mees in the audience nice. now. Beyond That's beyond all that, I think. I nope. <laughs> And I also have another question. Do you think Equestria Girls was the best choice for Hasbro to make into a movie? <laughs> I, I have some Probably. scripts in a drawer that I think would have been a better choice for Hasbro, have? but... Um... Do your parents work for Mattel? <laughs> oh, These are great questions. Yeah. I think it was very creative. Okay, so my question is, why is Cream Chrysalis a bad pony if she just wants love? She just doesn't know how to get it. I think we should reform her like we did with this chord. Yeah! I don't know. Tabitha? <laughs> what? Yeah. Can you answer that question about Queen Chrysalis? Why don't we reform her like we did with this chord? That's for you, I think. <laughs> You're asking me? That was, me? Cat, that was uh, yeah. Queen, you're bad. Ah. Hello? Hello? Good answer, thank you. <laughs> well, Queen Chrysalis, I believe, is voiced by Kathleen, Kathleen Barr. Oh. Yeah. Oh, did you think I was. See? I'm not. I, I'm uh, everybody else except for the ones that you see there. I think everybody deserves a chance, right? So, I think it's been noted by the writers who are still in the room unless we scared them off. So let's see what happens. I kind of like a few bad guys. Yeah, so do I. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who do I date? <laughs> so I'm still waiting for my date. Hi, I'm, I'm Ria, <laughs> and like, well, like, I might be a bad question, but how do you feel about apples? I like apples. I do. I like a Brayburn as an apple. That's a very tasty apple. Ooh, golden delicious. Of, um, hey, come on. I'm talking about apples. <laughs> I'm talking about actual I apples, you guys. Me. Huh? Seriously. No one's taking you seriously right now, okay? <laughs> Why? So come you know, on. It's not I'm possible. a princess. <laughs> Got a ship, ship, ship. Got a ship, ship, ship. I'm sorry, that's okay. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Hi. 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 I'm Claire. Hi, Claire. Um, one, Tabitha, I love you because you voice Nightmare Moon. And two, Peter, yes. who made your gorgeous dress? Uh, where are you guys? Are you still in here somewhere? Uh, I can actually answer that because that was partially my fault. Um, the folks who made the dress are Kendra, Quinton, uh, Dion, and, and the headdress was made by the amazing Tora, who, uh, by the way, also made the ones for our highest high rollers. So they are insanely talented, and you should love them. I just want you to wear it out for dinner tonight. And then on the plane home. Although you might be considered a weapon, so... <laughs> Hi. 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 Second of all, I'm so happy that I might even faint right now. Oh. <laughs> and. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Mic out. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. On. Um, this question's. <laughs> Mike, Mike. And this question for. Uh, Ashley Ball, can, uh, can, can you say in your rainbow dash, it needs to be about 20% cooler? Yes, I can. Would you like me to? It needs to be about 20% cooler. Is that, is that good? Is that good? Okay. I like your costume. Are we still on? Hi, my name. Oh. 
mic trouble. It's coming. Jake's mic. Right, turn around. Right behind you. Right behind you. Hello? 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 Ah. Testy. One Testing. moment, please. Do, 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 In the meantime, do, do, the rest of the voice do, actors are going please. to do a lovely can-can. Please hang We're up. We're doing it right now under the table. You can't quite again. see it. Please make a note of it. I think we just need to sing the uh, the pony theme. What do you think? Huh? Who wants to start? <laughs> okay, never mind. My little pony, my little pony. Uh, Magic makes it all complete. Now let's sing Talk Dirty to Me. Are we ready? It's my nine-year-old's favorite song. I know, right? Talk Dirty to Me. Talk dirty to me as Rainbow Dash go. <laughs> is it working? My name is Dora, oh. and um, my question is for all of you, actually. Um, okay, if you were to go to the gala, what would you do first? Oh, I, I want to hear this from Babs first, if I if I may. Babs. Oh. Brenna, what would Babs do at the gala? So if we were to go to the gala as us or as our characters? Uh, just, yeah, you guys. Just uh, yeah, So you can't do that. I know, I She's got it. She's bingo cheating. She's bingo cheating. She's cheating. Lena, why don't you answer? Yeah. Is that what you said? I didn't hear your question myself. What was what it again? You Sorry? You if you were to go to the gala as yourself, not as your pony, um, what would you do first? Oh. What Shopping! <laughs> I'd find where the food table is, I'd mark that, and then I'd just, I'd then in the bar, and then I'd sort of find the path between the two, and just go back and forth. Me and Nicole are going to dance to talk dirty to me. Oh my gosh, I probably would totally go to the food table as well. That's and then all. you can take a selfie. Oh my god. That's for sure. <laughs> Will you be my BFF? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'd probably dance. Yeah, you would yeah. I like to dance. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Phoenix. Hello. Hola. Me nombre es Aussie. And um, my question is for all of y'all. If you regenerated into the 13th Doctor, where would the first place you would go be? Oh. Right here, what? right now. And who says I'm not the 13th Doctor? Yeah, what he said. Hi. Yeah, what he said. Yeah, what he said. Let's go with what Peter said. <laughs> All what he said. <laughs> but first, let me take a selfie. I'm going to write a letter to Princess Celestia. But yeah. first, let me take a selfie. I like your golden pony head. I, I think that's a giant twy cane. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Moving along. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> uh, 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 hi. Hi. Uh, hi. Uh, well, this is a question for Celestia and Luna. Uh -oh. uh, you guys know the most about Discord, so do you know, was he born like that, like with all different animal parts, or was he born like a normal unicorn or pegasus? <laughs> I have two answers. 
As we are in mixed company, here it comes. Okay. Um, I believe that Discord was born as he was. And um, yeah, we need to celebrate his crazy differences. He's, he's not that bad. And again, I still want Celestia to go on a bowling date with Discord. I pitch it every convention. And they don't listen. Bowling. Uh, well, I don't know. I always assumed he hatched. Kind of an egg thing, an egg guy. Um, but that's just an assumption. You would have to ask the writer, because they're the actual progenitors. Thank you. Good answer, Tab. <laughs> Hi, this is for Tab of St. Germain. My name is Brooke, and you're one of my most favorite voice actresses ever. Oh, and so she's not even here. I, I'm sorry. Um, you probably can't see me, but I'm dressed as Derpy. I'm dressed as Derpy, and I have flushes of Luna and Puka and Heloise, who are also characters you voice. Oh, lovely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, well, it's my birthday soon, and the only thing I really want is just to hear you do Heloise. Do Halloween? I'm Heloise from Jimmy Two Shoes. Oh, Heloise. Um, good beef. That's a long time ago. <laughs> uh, right, don't hold your breath. And uh, I'll, uh, if I can scrape back my brain, I'll, I'll alert Drafty. What is she saying? That's what I'd be like, it's breaking up. <laughs> Gotta love Skype. I think you're breaking up, Tab. Oh, am I? I think oh. so. Sorry. Give her again. Oh, um, uh, it's been a long time since I did Halloween. Can you, can you do it? Uh, let me hear you and I'll see if I can rip off you. <laughs> well, let's see. <laughs> let's see. She's mean and she likes Jimmy and she's kind of evil but adorable. D do Jimmy! <laughs> I can't really remember. I think it's kind of more or less my own voice. Mm -hmm. A little bit angrier, maybe. A little bit stroppy. Does that sound right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it all. Hi, my name is Vera. Hi. And, um, this question is for Ashley Ball and Andrea Livin. And I was wondering what would happen if Pinky the Ghost from Pac Man met Pinkie Pie? Oh, oh man. Whoa. Hi, my name's Pinkie Pie. What's your name? Hi, I'm, a, I'm Pinkie the Ghost. What the heck? Yeah. What? Pinkie? I, I was going to say the same thing about you. I was here first. Whatever. What? Yeah, so this is confusing. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to slime you. Okay. <laughs> That's what, what happened. Sounds just like Rainbow Dash. <laughs> Howdy. Uh, first and foremost, uh, Babs is best Philly. Just putting that out there. Now, I, I got a question for Ashley that I have to ask because this is like the second or third convention you've done like ever. So Like ever, yeah. Well, well I have the opportunity. I got to ask. Uh, I know you're active with your band, Hey Ocean, which rocks, by the way. Hey, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm just wondering, uh, are there any styles of music or bands that you like that you think would surprise us? Like, are you secretly into 80s thrash metal or something? Yeah, I oh, actually... Come on. Who here wouldn't love to hear Rainbow Dash singing Seek and Destroy? Come on. I actually went to see Motorhead last night in San Francisco. They play here. Okay, instant best voice actors. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hello. I was wondering, who would yeah. you like to personally have as a special guest star on the show, if you could? Oh, good question. Peter? Let, let's get one of these from everybody, because I got to hear this. Oh, oh, I know. Um, I know that Lady Gaga wore like a dress made of ponytail hairs or something. <laughs> That's true. Um, so I think it would be really awesome to have her on the show, probably because she's just really outrageous. Yep. Jimmy right? Fallon. <laughs> Anyone? 
I just want the entire cast of Game of Thrones and maybe in the studio. <laughs> All of you. Um, well, because she's an absolutely brilliant actor and um, has a beautiful singing and speaking voice. Oh I my was, gosh, uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, what did you say, Ted? Who? Who? Minnie Driver. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Minnie Driver. She's an amazing actor and singer. Mm. Uh, I think Patrick Stewart. I'm going to say Patrick Stewart. <laughs> Stay in the Star Trek Passover. family. But I really just came up with that right now. Oh, no. you, you heard it here first, Hasbro. Make it so. <laughs> oh, Thank you for your time. Have a good time. Thank you. Thanks. Hi. Hi. All right, and my question is that, are there any big name actors that helped inspire you to become voice actors? And if so, you know who they are? Hmm, no. Not personally. No, I haven't met any of the people that inspired me. I mean, like, I, Mel Blanc, who did the Looney Tunes voices, was a huge inspiration for me as a kid. And He's the great. Um, when, I, when I was in my early 20s, I worked at a store on, on Robson Street, which is like the main shopping drag in Vancouver. It was called Cartoon Corner, and it sold, like, animation cell art and, and plushies and shirts and things. Um, and it was there that I really discovered that, like, Dan Castellaneta and Harry Shearer and like all of the Simpsons voices Hank did. Hank Azaria. Hank Azaria did um, like all, like a million voices, and they just did the show. And I realized that it was just this incredible talent to be able to do all these different voices. And I, I thought it, it made me want to do it at that time. But I haven't met them, so I don't know them. Right. <laughs> yeah, you do. The end. The end. I'd say Tabitha St. Germain. And Tara Strong, and Kathy Wesick, and um, Ashley Ball. Oliver. Ashley Ball. You Ashley guys Ball. are my heroes. Ashley Ball. <laughs> Thanks. How y'all doing? Hey. Awesome. Sweet. Uh, I had, sorry about my really bad voice, but um, I just wanted to ask, like, um, you guys have, like, go-to dance moves, and what are they? Do we have go-to dance moves? Yeah, like if someone's like, hey, do a dance move and just break on like, <laughs> what's your go-to dance move? You're not gonna twerk, are you? Whoa, whoa, slow your roll. One time, Applejack taught me how to square dance. I think I'd resort to that. <laughs> pretty, pretty princess? Uh, yeah, I do the pretty, pretty princess dance. That's my go-to move. <laughs> Can you twerk uh, in that outfit? Everybody knows what it looks like, so. Nice. Who so wants to see Peter twerk in his princess outfit? Make some noise. I'm I'm chair twerking right now. Promise. Show us a move or two, Pete. Nope. Later on. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, hey there. My name is Nick. This question uh, mainly goes out to Kathy Westluck, Andrea Libman, Brian Drummond, and Tabitha St. Germain. I'm actually a fan of all the generations, mostly G3, but of all the MLP roles you've ever done, which one was your favorite? And Tabitha, if you can see me, I'm dressed as one of your characters. Name Minty sound familiar? <laughs> I wish I could see you guys. That's awesome. Uh, did you ask who our favorite character to play was? Yeah, from any MLP generation, G3 or G4. Wow. I don't know. I like Rarity an awful lot to play. Um, because not I... like Granny, not like Luna, not like Derpy, not like everything. <laughs> Because I loved you as Thistle Whistle. What? You remember Thistle Whistle? But, but you don't really think that's a good idea. I mean, well, you know how you are in balloons. <laughs> Just a thought. Wow, that was awesome. My favorite would be the G3 th uh, rarity that I played as a little, tiny little girl pony. 
I always plan to be purely perfect time and again. It's my goal. Got to admit, I'm not always perfect. Please, don't you dare tell a soul. How many rules do I ever break? I think the answer is none. I try and I try, but I can't deny. Basically, I just want to have fun. It's impressive you remember all the words. <laughs> you can imagine how many others I remember. <laughs> Thank you. I loved the fourth generation, but it was thrilled to play Spike in the third generation. Oh, very, very fun. Uh, mostly because I think Charlie Adler is fantastic who did it in the first generation. Uh, he's a, he's a, a hero of mine, voice actor, absolutely fantastic. I know Charlie very well, don't you? Great actor, so it was, I had a blast doing Spike. What did Spike sound like? Well, Sp Spike was very much different than the Spike now. He was, he was helping, and this is what he sounded like. He had to help, help the ponies get ready for all their events, and that's what Spike <laughs> sounded like then. He was an old dragon, not a young one. Oh, Are you related to me or something, and I don't know that? <laughs> How was it different recording dialogue for the movie than it was for recording dialogue for the show? Oh, not that much different. The movie took longer? Because it's longer? <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but other than that, it was pretty much we did it in the same place, the same peeps, um, but with guest peeps. The floor changed in the studios. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Well, pretty much the same, just a longer script. Yeah, mm -hmm. really similar. More cookies. Yeah, more cookies from Tabitha. And I think we had pizza, too. Oh, yeah. 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 Thank Should you. have stayed. I didn't. I didn't stay. I just said yep and left. Oh yeah. Pete does that sometimes. He'll just say his one line and then go home. Yeah. I miss the pizza. I'm staying from now on. You can bring the pizza every time, then Pete. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Hi. 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 I'm Amrita. Um, Tabitha, could you do a, a rarity trying to act country voice when her saying yeehaw? Tabitha, did you hear the question? Could you say yeehaw with a quote unquote rarity trying to act country voice? <laughs> Come in, Tabitha. Yee-haw! Thank you, Oh, bang it all to heck! Hello, my name is Nanad Kaikar. This question is for Tara Strong specifically, because I'm a really big fan of your work. Uh, it's for My Little Pony. I just wonder, what was your, what do you like most about playing Twilight Sparkle? So pushing it and cheating. Oh, yeah. Yes. What's my favorite thing about playing Twilight? Yeah. Um, well, you know, um, I'd say I played with ponies when I was a little girl, and so I always loved the concept of the show. And when Lauren first approached me and asked if I'd like to do it, um, and we played around with the voice for her, it was sort of like I instantly fell in love with everything about her. So I couldn't pick like one thing except, it is fun when she goes crazy, like lesson zero and <laughs> stuff like that. I, I really like when she sort of steps outside her little Twilight box. <laughs> um, I, I just love everything about her. She's, she's a great character to play. Thank you. My question is, um, since in a recent episode we learned that Pinkie Pie knows how to speak some sort of Spanish, I was wondering if, <laughs> sorry, I was wondering if, um, if any of you guys know how to speak, or your characters know how to speak any other languages than English. Oh, do you, do you speak French? 
I think by being Canadian, we're hoping we can all speak a little French. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I don't speak it literally, but my heritage is white Russian, so I pick up from my grandma. And I like pierogi, okay? Beautiful, beautiful. Your face, your cheek, beautiful. Oh, yes. <clears throat> uh, Big Mac. Big Mac. Big Mac. Big Mac. Je peux parler français, uh, un peu de quelque chose de long, um, a little bit of a little bit of Swedish, just enough to really embarrass myself, <laughs> and uh, a little bit of Italian. Italian. Big Mac speaks speak fluent Latin. Oh, Are you talking? <laughs> I speak Hebrew and a little French and a little Italian and really good Spanglish. Really good Spanglish. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Thomas, and my question is, uh, what is the strangest gift you've ever gotten from a fan? E.g. No, strangest thing? Hmm. Hmm, that's <laughs> relative, isn't it? The, the, okay, the question was, what is the strangest gift you've ever received from a fan? So this ought to be good. Strangest I gift. I can't hmm. tell you till you're over 18. <laughs> I saw that one coming. I got a fish once from a Fairly Odd Parents fan. What? Like in a bowl. Fish? Yeah, a real in fish. In a bowl. Whoa. Is it dead? Wow. No? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I got a shell, like a giant conch. <laughs> I got a small plastic platypus once. Cool. I have nothing bad to say about chocolate. <laughs> nothing at all. Yep. Smart. Yeah, it's true though. It's true. Yep. I haven't got. I haven't got really anything strange. It's just. It's all pony esque, and it's all. It's all great. Thank you for your your gifts. Yeah. Thank you. Kathy likes chocolate. If you didn't know. I have an answer for that. Crafty. I have an answer for that. Okay. What's that, Tabo? Oh. Um, we get um, at our agency we get anonymous uh mail of uh, all of the characters do uh, that are just unsigned articles about health and diets and stuff like that. They're, they're just articles like about the Atkins diet or about how to feel for some, somebody thinks we're fat. Yeah, and there's a, it doesn't say who it's from. It's both no. her, her and I get them. <laughs> we're like, what are you trying to say to us? <laughs> I don't need, do I need to know about Atkins? I don't want to know about Atkins. <laughs> yeah, the Atkins diet thing talks about ketosis, about having kitty cat breath because of eating too much meat. And anyway, <laughs> that's the weirdest. I miss you, Tabitha. <laughs> um, hello. Uh, this question is actually for Tabitha. So stay on the line. I was, I was wondering if you could say the following line is rarity. Um, this is the, oh wait, wait, sorry. Of all the best possible, of all the best possible, th oh, sorry, jeez. Yeah, I was gonna say, of all the best things that could happen, this is the best possible thing. Of all the best things that could happen, this is the best possible thing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Um, my name is Shamim, and um, this question is for all of you. Thank you for My Little Pony and the friendship, and also for um, Pinkie Pie. What was your favorite part with you and Weird Al Yankovic? Um, everything. It was just so cool. Um, we weren't in the same room together, but um, we still got to record at the same time and play off each other, so it was really, really, really fun. Cool. It was fun. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, like her, I like her song, the, when she goes, na 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 I like that part. Yes. And thank you, all of you, for your hard work on the show. We all love it. Right, guys? Thank you, guys. Nice guitar. <laughs> 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 so, 
So I'm Katie. Hi, Katie. And Hi. for all of you guys, what's your favorite role that you've ever voiced or played? In the world or on the show? In the world. In the world. Ever. The world. In the whole wide world. It can be more. It can be more than one. Okay, I'll start. Um, when I was a little girl and I saw The Little Mermaid, I loved it so much and I really wanted to be her. And then when I moved to Los Angeles, I got to play her daughter in the Sing the Studio with Jodie Benson. That's my favorite character. Thank you very much. What? I was Melody in The Little Mermaid 2. No? Did you see Melody? Oh. For me, it's turning out to be Spike. But I did enjoy the drain pipe I always talked about. That was one of my first roles. Um, I liked playing the sorceress in He-Man. Uh, and I have a lot of fun with Zoe in Littlest Pet Shop. Speaking of, I have a lot of fun as Sunil in Little Pet Shop as well, so I would have to say that it is one of my very favorites. Um, I, I got to play a character on a show called Coconut Fred's Fruit Salad Island. I think it only lasted about one season, but I played a sexually confused tomato named Tony. <laughs> sounded like this and uh, he wasn't sure if he was a fruit or a vegetable so he was sexually sort of confused about that that's, that's hilarious. my favorite okay we can only take um, maybe two more questions so make them count we, we're, getting, we're having to wrap Wait, this up soon my... we're back tomorrow there will be more tomorrow Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Twilight on my shoulder has asked a question for Brianna. Brenna, I think that's her, how you pronounce her name? Brenna. How do you get that uh, the accent for Babseed? There you go. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just looked at videos and listened. I, I, my dad tells me I have a good ear, so... I just listened and practiced and tried to sound like how they did, so. I found a video online that were some, uh, a couple of girls telling some, some jokes in Brooklyn and they had sort of this joke that they would tell. And I said, you've got to listen to these two girls. And you probably kind of pick up a little bit of how they sound and a little bit of the attitude because they were teenagers. And then you just did it. Go ahead. What did it sound like? What was the joke? Oh, you know about the joke. <laughs> uh, uh, Tell your mother about your bad attitudes. <laughs> okay, um, can I ask the main six and Spike this next question? All right. Now, regardless on land or the sky, who do you think would win in a race? Rainbow Dash or Sonic the Hedgehog? I think we all know the answer to that question. <laughs> Rainbow Dash. Pinkie Pie. <laughs> Pinkie would use her pinky. Sorry, just be at the finish line. No one would know how I got there, but I'd be there. Boingy, boingy, boingy. <laughs> and uh, Tabitha, did you have an answer for that question? The question was, who would win in a race, Rainbow Dash or Sonic the Hedgehog? Okay, folks, we're, like I said, we're having to wrap it up. I know that everyone's deeply disappointed about that because I am, I want to stay up here with these people so much you can't even know it, but, uh, yeah. The voice actors will be going to the autograph room. And by the way, BabsCon just wants to remind you that we were the first con to bring you the main six and so many more.
and thank I want you guys. To, thanks. Thanks. I want to thank Tabitha St. Germain, Peter Hi. New, okay. Andrea Lipman, Ashley Ball, Tara Strong, Kathy Weslock, Nicole Oliver, Brian Drummond, Brenna Drummond.